Jamie O'Sullivan here, PGA professional in Rossley Golf Club. I hope you're all doing well. Hopefully we'll be returning to golf soon. And I know that a lot of us haven't hit a ball since December and we're tight and stiff. And um, I want to give you a few exercises today that you can do over the coming weeks to try and get your body back in golf shape. These exercises I'm giving you are not only good for that, but also a couple of minutes of a warm up before you play. I often see people and they're running from the car straight to the first tee without even hitting a golf shot. Uh, life gets in the way sometimes, that's understandable, but you can't expect to be great uh, for the first few holes if you haven't hit a ball. Also, you could do yourself an injury. Uh, I find warming up doesn't take a long time and it improves your um, golf quicker and it prevents the, the threat of injury, which obviously none of us want. Um, so it's going to give you a couple of very quick ones. It'll only take a couple of minutes while you're waiting for the crowd in front of you. Uh, to, to kind of make their way uh, to, towards the green. You can do these warm-ups in two or three minutes and you'll hit the ground running hopefully. Okay, any exercise I give you, I want you to, to do it to your own ability. Don't stretch beyond where you are capable of stretching. Stretching um, gets better the more you do it. Um, so if you find you're a bit tight doing it initially, the more you do these stretches, um, the better flexibility you'll gain after a while. Um, what I would say to you is each stretch you don't bounce in a stretch, you hold the stretch maybe for 15 or 20 seconds, nice and light, always breathing in deep and breathing out. Um, and as I said, don't try and go beyond where you can go physically because you might hurt yourself and we don't want that. I want you to got to improve with a better body, not a worse body. All right, so very simply, I like to start from the ground up. So I have a club here in my hand. This is very simply just to give me a bit of balance. Put the club into the ground. I'm going to grab my right foot with my right hand and I am going to put my right heel up towards my backside. I'm going to feel as if I'm pushing my right hip outwards. Again, I'm going to hold this stretch for about 15, 20 seconds. So what I'm going to do is, for the sake of this video, I'm not going to hold it that long, but that's what I want you to do. Then I want you to swap around, right hand on the club, just to give you a bit of balance. Left foot up towards your backside, left heel up towards your backside, and again, hold that for about 15, 20 seconds, pushing your left hip outwards. Grand. So you could repeat that a couple of times if you want. What I'd say to you is give yourself a bit of a legs, a bit of a shake after those just to relieve a bit of tension. The next one's very simple. When you grab the club uh, by the head and by the end of the shaft, I'm going to turn sideways for this one. And I want you to soften your knees a fraction. I want you literally just to pitch forward from your waist and let yourself hang. Let your body hang in this position and let your head go as low as it can. What you should feel here is a nice pull up the back of your legs. And again, no bouncing, Just go to where you can. Hold that 15 or 20 seconds. All right. When you've done that again, give yourself a bit of a shake out. All right, so the next thing we want to do is we're going to move up the body a bit into the hands and the wrists and the shoulders. So a very simple one for the hands I like to do is I grab the golf club in my right hand here, and I'm going to extend my arm out straight, and I'm just going to let that club gently turn left and gently go to the right. So your arms extend soft, not rigid. So here we go, left, gently, and then to the right. Don't be doing this exercise very hard. You want that movement to, to free up any bit of tension in your arms. So you do that maybe 10 times each side, left hand, right hand, okay? So the weight of the club literally is pulling the stretch a bit. And again, go to where you can, not where you can't go, because I don't want you hurting yourself. All right, very simple one here again, want the club in behind your shoulders, grabbing the, the head of the club and the, the end of the grip. Get into your golf posture, so hips back, slight bend from your knees, looking as if you were looking down towards the golf ball. And from this position here, I want you to just literally just turn your shoulder, left shoulder under your chin, Right shoulder under your chin, as if you're going to the finish, let your head go to the finish. Again, nice and slow, left shoulder under your chin, and then finish as if you're playing a golf shot. Let your head and your foot go as if you're hitting a golf shot. Okay, let all your knees and ankles and legs move. So maybe do that one about 10 times as well. Very simple one that I'm going to finish off on. This one um, really gets all your muscles working. I like to have two clubs for this. I'm going to have my uh, two short clubs, two wedges maybe, and put them together. I'm going to grip them in a baseball style grip, not even a normal golf grip. I'm just going to make my normal golf setup. I don't 
aim at the ground here. I'm hovering these clubs maybe seven or eight inches off the ground and I'm gonna start off gently back, gently forward. Just making gentle little swings at the weight of the club, pull me either side, and eventually I'm getting up to a longer swing here. I'm letting all my knees, all my ankles roll, let my head go either side if I want. This is just to try and limber up those golfing muscles that you're going to use in a minute. There's only a few small little exercises that I would uh, do myself before I even hit a golf ball in the range, before I hit a ball into the net, or if I don't get time to hit a few balls before I walk or to go golfing, I would do this at the first tee. Um, just helps me to hopefully play a bit better sooner. Hope this helps and looking forward to seeing you soon. Take care.